When I was a little well, kid, I was really into chess. There's always that breaking point. Like for yeah. me, it was like with skateboarding, like yeah. or sports. Like, am I gonna become a professional baseball player? No. Am I gonna become a professional skateboarder? No. Like I, you have to kind of. That, there's, that's just natural. You, no, well, it does kind of show up in the unless um, you're gonna put the work in. It does show up in the series because when he's ta- when, when I, she's dude. talking to Harry. Um, yeah, and he, he was says, ju- he was just like I wasn't obsessed with it like you were, dude. You, he I was like I thought I loved chess, but I but I didn't. I fucking paused the TV and I I I needed a moment to recover from that. Yeah, because I was just like, this is what I talk about all the time with music, yeah. all the time. Yeah, how much do you love music? Until don't tell me exactly. you love music until exactly. you're fucking putting your ass on the line exactly. like I do. You know, and he I'm made, not, I'm not yeah. like, you got to put, and then there was something that I can't remember who said it, but it was about like, you know, well, a couple things. It was about like the sacrifice that people don't see that she mm. made. Yeah. You know? And when we were watching the one episode we watched together, I said to you like, look, see, cause her mom responds positively when she got that bit of money. Yeah. In the very beginning. And I'm like, see, they're responding to success. Yeah. People respond to success. They don't, un- they don't see what's beneath the success. And the, the, the sooner that you, you know, support people in, on their journey to success, that, that you need to support those people. Otherwise, yeah. you're not going to get those special people. That is, I kind of feel like, is the struggle of Beth of like, one, she's kind of addicted to winning, and two, she feels like she has to win in order to prove her meaning. In order to prove her kind of worth, she has to win. And like, look at look she, at the world that she grew up in, where her yeah. only support, at least from besides from, you know, the janitor, her only real support was when she was a winner. Yeah. It was the success that people responded to. Before that, no one cared that she was a girl who really liked chess. Her mother even told Dude. her not to do it because she was just like, oh, well, if you want to be social. Dude, then- I was legitimately getting like fucking triggered by shit because mm. I'm just like, this is, ha- this is how you fucking, you know, thankfully she was really strong. And yeah. like, truthfully, if you're, well, I don't know, like, I'm worried about how many kids could have been not necessarily Beth, but could have done something, yeah. but it was stamped out of them at a young age. Right. That, and that, that troubles me like so much. They, there is, especially with like the themes of Christianity in yeah. this, um, in this, uh, show kind of the church represents conformity of, first of all, she's a woman playing chess and chess, was male dominated. A lot of things back in the sixties were male dominated. Yeah. And there is kind of this struggle between her and how a young woman is supposed to act of she, you know, she stops playing chess in the, uh, orphanage because kind of, uh, you know, they, they want her to stop because that's not what young ladies do. And then, you know, when she, also she had the episode. Yeah. 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 And right. Um, and then when she is in high school, she can't really connect to the other girls uh, because, you know, the other girls act the way that they are supposed to. Or at I le- lo- Dude, I love it. I love I love the whole fucking the whole exchange that she has, dude, with mm. with like the the mean girl in the yeah, school yeah. who like now is like, yeah, I did the right thing and I'm a housewife and I, you know, had a kid. But under the surface are all these liquor bottles. By the way, they got alcohol spot on. That was another thing about spot we, on. You know, there and I'm are speaking from experience. Believe that there are some scenes. There, there are scenes where we see Beth being like a sloppy drunk. But they, they nail. But it. it's not. It's not about that. It's no. a, it's about the reasons of why somebody would would be drinking. But also, dude, sometimes you know, I'm a I'm a you know person who has a drinking thing in their past, you know, yeah. and I'm currently sober. I, maybe I won't be in the future, but I am now. I'll I'll probably if I do go back to drinking, it won't be the same way that I used to. But the point yeah. being, like, a lot of times when drinking is portrayed in like media like that, it, they don't get it right at all. 
No. Like, and, and you can tell, like, but th- this, they, I don't know who they had around them. Yeah. Like, as far as like, I know they had chess people involved making yeah. sure that things were legit. They got alcohol, right? Especially yeah. Beth being a person who's discovering alcohol mm. and has a tendency toward addiction. Yeah. Nailed it. Like the way that she like immediately wants another one. I can't even really describe it. It's just yeah. a feeling like that's accurate. But, but there Sorry, is. Hold on. And it yeah. also, it uh. also shows like, <laughs> It also shows how, like, the tragedy of not just the the, the drunk driving accident or the uh, now I'm in jail, but yeah. it's that little line where it's like it might just be blocking you. It might just be making you just, what's the word I'm looking for? Just complacent enough mm. that it's going to stop you right. from, from real progress in your right. life. That's what it really shows. I feel like one that I liked is that... Uh, it's not shown in a typical way. They don't really like the, the drunk driving or right. like the she's sloppy all the time. You get some scenes where Beth is sloppy, but and, that, and but, that's how life is. Sometimes and that's you how life like is. That. Yeah. But like that's not the main focus. No. And really, the times that she's sloppy is not like the real times that you're like, oh, Beth is Beth is drinking a lot. And it's also not. Uh, it's not shown like she doesn't have the ability to stop. Like. There are other movies about alcoholism, like um, if you ever uh, the it's Denzel. A new, it's a nuanced uh, yeah. the description. Den- if you ever watch the Denzel Washington um, movie Flight, it shows alcoholism of just like he's literally unable to like stop drinking, and this is more like she has the ability to stop one hundred percent, but mentally she does not want to. And the truth is, like they're looking at the reasons of why somebody would start to drink she prefers alcohol to people that's yeah. what it comes and, that's and what to, it breaks to, down the, to the scene in the bar where she's sitting next to benny yeah and she's ordering another two and he's like well i'm still on my first one that's that's a fact dude. yeah that's that's a fact that was my life like yeah that that's a whole like that's right you know like you you and it's hard to describe because it's mm. not just like, well, she drinks more than the others. It's like, yeah. it's that feeling of like, no, I need that next one. Even mm. if I know I have one here, as soon as I'm halfway done, I need to know there's another one coming just so I can continue having a conversation without getting fucking, you know, uh, yeah. nerve nervous or, or, you know. Well, yeah, it's, it's a it's, security blanket. It stems from the fact that one, alcohol is not going to abandon her. Right. She's dealt with abandonment her entire life. And two, she has trouble connecting with people. She doesn't have trouble. You don't have to have an emotional connection to a bottle of liquor. If you're going to be in a relationship, we see we see her two kind of love interests and they fall apart because she can't connect to them about anything other than chess because she has problems making emotional connections with other people. Of she course. has problems trusting people. <sighs> you course. don't need to put that same trust into a bottle of alcohol. And that's why she prefers alcohol to people. Well, uh, yeah, but, and also like when it shows her actually really fucked up and drunk, like that's accurate too, mm-hmm. you know, like I, I really like how they portrayed that. And yeah, but I like, it's interesting because I like that they didn't just make her like, well, fuck people i'm just yeah, gonna drink yeah yeah it's like they gave you enough of that humanity where she's like well why don't you move in here like she's like she wants that connection yeah or like even the sex scenes were pretty well done yeah or it's like it wasn't like it it was pretty realistic as far as like those situations right um well yeah there is and also it's like you understand why beth wants to isolate herself I mean, this is someone where, like, really everybody, you you wonder why she can't have a connection with another person. Every person she's tried to have a connection with has kind of abandoned her. Yeah. I mean, Um, her her mom initially, whoever her biological father was, her stepfather, who that guy is a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Um, And then her mom, her real mother, who's her stepmother, dies. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. and then, well, Walter Tevis, who wrote the book, he he was a real life alcoholic, and uh, pretty much every character um, in his books is an alcoholic. 
Yeah. Eddie well, Felsen. He, know, he knows what yeah. he's talking about, man, because that's accurate. That's yeah. accurate. That's the first time I've really seen alcohol on screen, and I went, whoever yeah. whoever was behind that, they know what they're doing. He, um, like, Eddie Felsen from The Hustler was also uh, an alcoholic. Also, like, a lot of the same problems that Beth had, where he's unable to really connect with people. And he, he had this book that... Uh, David Bowie stars the main character in the movie, but basically he had wrote this book about like an alien who comes down from Mars to Earth and like immediately be No, no, not Labyrinth. It was what? called something else. I don't remember. But he he literally wrote a book where like this alien comes down to Earth and then immediately becomes an alcoholic. Um you know, this was he he had wrote Queen's Gambit, I believe, after he was sober for a while. Um but yeah, like pretty much everybody, every character in his books has problems with alcohol. 